My name is Johannes Brihel. I'm the founder and the president of Lab Central. Welcome to Lab Central. Uh, this is a place where we build new startups in life sciences or in biotech. So if you think of, a, of an academic professor who has a great idea and they want to maybe build a new drug, then they now can come here. They don't have to build and outfit their own laboratory. They don't have to get their own permits. We also have a staff that operates um, the facility. They sit right here. You can show them very quickly. Um, and that um, is a concept that has been very successful in the past. Boston Cambridge, of course, is an area where there are many great scientists and innovators and who really need this type of space. Traditionally, they would need to raise millions of dollars from investors or venture capitalists and buy space or rent space and paint it and have it refurbished and build a lab, buy the equipment, get all the permits and uh, before you know it, you've spent millions of dollars and uh, lost half a year of your company's lifetime. Uh, so that's what we mitigate and now in fact people can come in here, they find a, a fully furnished laboratory, we have millions of dollars of lab equipment deployed here they can all use. We train the scientists, we teach them about safety in the lab and so forth. Every scientist now gets one bench and um, that allows them to do their work. Uh, there's also a lot of support uh, space available, additional equipment, microscopes, centrifuges, PCR machines, uh, sequencing instrumentation. As you see, we currently have 27 companies in this space. Um, they range anywhere from 1 to 12 employees and they all work on, on new uh, medical technology. Uh, there's different choices of space available either in the open lab or in private labs like these that you see here and uh, they all come fully equipped and fully furnished. This is our sponsor wall. Uh, we celebrate all of, all of the great companies that uh, help Lab Central uh, fulfill its mission uh, by, by donating cash or equipment. And the way we've set this up is that uh, we have a tiered uh, level of sponsorship. Um, most of these companies are, are very interested in building relationships with our early stage startups and entrepreneurs. Uh, for example, we have the pharma companies up here, we have J&J, we have Pfizer, and we have Novartis. Uh, they're all very interested in learning what these young companies are up to because they might at some point want to partner with them or want to license stuff from them. As you walk past these um, companies, uh, they are all independent companies. Uh, most of them are financed with venture capital investments or angel investments. Many of them have very experienced teams, but there are some uh, first time at teams as well, first time entrepreneurs right out of uh, their PhD starting a company, so very exciting. And so one of the important aspects of why this is so uh, valuable for them is that uh, they not only find a facility that allows them to get started right away, but also they find a network of other people. So here we come in, into our cafe area, um, a place where people gather during the day. We have good coffee on tap, we have free snacks and, and uh, yogurt and ice cream and uh, things to bring people out of their laboratory so that they can now meet others and hopefully strike up a conversation, get to know another person and maybe you know, come up with a new idea, come up with a new collaboration. We've actually had a number of cases where this has led to people now interacting and finding out, oh, we could actually do something together and um, coming up with a new idea. Uh, for a project. This is our playroom. It's the uh, it's the office, I think, the former office that we now have, um, uh, and and we use it for informal meetings. We use it for um, simple breaks. We use it for smaller seminars, like a demonstration from one of our sponsors, Agilent, currently going on. They have a three-day seminar going on. Maybe you've seen them when you when you came in. Um, and we have a little display over there that we wanted to take a look at. So, uh, we, don't, we don't have a plaque yet, but there's going to be some um, text explaining what this is. Um, 
Uh, very nice. We actually have a few uh, photos, few old photos that we found of um, Dr. Lamb standing outside the building. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, then, of course, next to it is the 1900s telephone that we got from one of my co-founders. Uh, they had, like, his grand uncle had this in the barn in Iowa somewhere. Um, where, um, and we, we put it because in this building, uh, also, the telephone was invented or co-invented. They made the first um, long-distance phone call. It was a very inspiring history of innovation. Now, of course, we hope that some of our uh, startups will continue that um, tradition of inventing great new things in this building. I hope you enjoyed your talk at Love Central. And um, thank you for making us part of, of your story here. Thank you so much for your time. Absolutely. It's been a pleasure. Thank you.